Today I have the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 and the Essential phone with me and these are probably two phones you've either not heard of at all or know very little about and that's because these phones aren't very easily available. They're not available in all parts of the world and neither are they marketed uh, very aggressively like the other brands do and that's weird because these are very good phones. They're actually in a class that I've dubbed as the budget flagships because these two have flagship specs but both come in at about $500. And that's that's a great spot to be in today because that's where most of the market is, in my opinion. People are no longer, you know, buying $1,000 phones if they're off contract. Uh, it's just too much money. But these phones, they hit that sweet spot between not being expensive, but having everything you want from a good phone. So let's compare these two and find out which of them is the better budget flagship. So starting off, let's compare the physical aspects of the Essential Phone and Mi Mix 2. The Mi Mix 2 and Essential Phone both have very premium build quality, probably the best amongst all the phones out there. The Essential Phone is made with a ceramic back and titanium frame. Uh, the Mi Mix 2 also has a ceramic back, but it has an aluminum frame. Now, I do have a skin on the uh, Essential Phone, so that's why you don't see it, but it does. Both of these are ceramic backs. Both of them are very big fingerprint magnets, but I, at this point, I'm just used to it. Uh, the cool thing about the Mi Mix is that it does have these gold accents, which does look a little bit unique. The Essential Phone, on the other hand, does have the flat camera hump. There's no camera hump. The, uh, the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 does have that. It does get a little bit annoying in comparison to the Mi Mix 2. Uh, in terms of uh, the thickness, both are almost identical, uh, which makes it a little bit more concerning to me as to why Xiaomi didn't just uh, have a flat camera there when Essential could clearly do it. Uh, otherwise, physically, both are fairly similar. There's, uh, uh, there's only a, a USB Type-C here. There's no headphone jack on both of these phones. Um, the fingerprint scanner is on the back. Both of them have insane screen to body ratios. And since both of these phones actually utilize a, uh, these screen to body ratios, they've done weird things to implement them. The Essential has this very tiny notch that cont contains the front camera up here. Uh, Xiaomi has done it a little bit differently and there's a little camera right here for the selfies. Uh, the front camera is located in the bottom right corner of the phone, which is a little bit of a unique position in comparison to other phones out there. Uh, Xiaomi did not go for that not style and I actually prefer it this way um, The thing is though, you know the not style does allow for you to get the uh, Front camera in the right position So if you are looking to take a lot of selfies and stuff It's just a lot more comfortable to have that in the more traditional setting instead of having it uh, all the way at the bottom Which means that you need to turn the phone around every time uh, you want to take a picture both of the phones also weigh the same and when it comes down to it, you know, I thought a lot about this. Both of these phones are very premiumly built. They're probably the most premium phones on the market right now. But still, uh, you know, I can only pick one winner here. So I thought long and hard. And uh, when it comes down to it, I think that the Essential phone is the winner here. And let me explain to you why. One, it has that uh, ceramic back, the same as the Mi Mix 2. But it has a titanium frame instead of an aluminum one, which is even more sturdy than the aluminum. Uh, and it also has a flat back, so there is no camera hump, and there's dual cameras instead of the single camera setup uh, with the hump on the Mi Mix 2. So the Essential Phone is definitely the uh, winner for this one, but it wins out only by a little bit. Trust me, both of these phones are extremely well built. Moving on. Uh, both of these phones run Android. The Essential Phone is running Android 8.1 with no skin. It is plain vanilla Android. The Xiaomi Mi Mix 2, on the other hand, is running Android 8.0 with Mi UI 9.5. That's the latest version. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a bad experience, to be very frank with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I did not enjoy the experience. There's a ton of bloatware that is not necessary. Uh, there's du duplicated apps for so many functions, which is annoying and they don't even allow you to delete certain apps. So right now we have both Google Photos and Gallery. You can't get rid of them. Also, there's a lot of apps like that. So there's a Play Music app and there's a Xiaomi Music app that can be deleted. There's a Play Movies app and there's another Xiaomi Video app or a Mi Videos app somewhere over here. And it's very annoying to have so many of these redundant apps which you can't delete. There's also this weird cleaner feature that you can't disable. Uh, nor can you hide notifications from. So, you know, there's things like that that I don't like on my phone and Xiaomi forces it down your throat and there's not much you can do. 
Uh, not to mention that in general, the the UI isn't as uh, nice as Google stock UI. So when it comes down to it, I have to give the software down to the essential just because it keeps things simple. It doesn't duplicate things. It doesn't make things redundant, which the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 does. Finally, let's talk about specifications and benchmarks. So starting off with the specifications, both of these phones are actually very similar. So I told you the build quality was similar. Uh, and let's look at the screen sizes. So the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 ha has a 5.99 inch display, so six inch display, uh, whereas the Essential Phone has a 5.7 5 inch display. But the Essential Phone does have a larger screen to body ratio coming in at 84%, whereas the Mi Mix has an 80.8% uh, resolution, the screen to body ratio. Uh, the Mi Mix 2 does have the uh, uh, slightly lower uh, quality display. It has a 1080 into 2160 display, whereas the Essential Phone has a 1312 into 2560 uh, pixel display. So the P PPI is much higher on the Essential as well. Uh, now, both of these phones otherwise very, very similar to each other. It, both of them have the Snapdragon 835. Both of them have the same uh, Adreno 540 GPU. Now, uh, the RAM is slightly higher on the Mi Mix 2. The RAM comes down to being 6 gigs instead of 4. Uh, the Mi Mix, uh, <clears throat> the Essential does have only 4 gigs of RAM, but both of them are packing 128 uh, megapixel, I'm sorry, a 128 GB uh, storage, flash storage unit. Also, uh, when it comes down to camera, the Essential phone has a dual camera 13 megapixel layout. The Xiaomi Mix 2 only has a single 12 megapixel camera. The front camera on both these phones uh, are different as well. So the front camera on the Essential phone is an 8 megapixel camera that is capable of shooting 4K video. The uh, Mi Mix 2 has a 5 megapixel camera that's limited to 1080p. And uh, when it comes down to it, looking at benchmarks, the story comes down to be that both of these phones perform very similarly. The, the Essential Phone has a score of 198,595. The Mi Mix 2 has a score of 203,949. So very similar there. And uh, most of that gap comes in GPU performance. Now, both of them have the same GPU, so it may be just something that's going on with the Essential because I have seen it get scores higher than this. So maybe it was just a testing issue, but for now, the uh, Mi Mix 2 did take that. Uh, looking at Geekbench, again, the Mi Mix 2 just barely spaces out the uh, Essential phone in both aspects. So the Essential phone has a 1910 single core score with a 6560 multi-core score. The Mi Mix 2 has a 1938 single core score with a multi-core score of 6670. And again, this all makes sense because both of them do have the same CPU, so it will uh, be very similar to each other uh, as it is in this case. Finally, looking at the last thing, the Wi-Fi speed test on both of these phones. So here, what I noticed was that the Essential phone is a lot more consistent. Uh, it's not the most consistent, but it's way more consistent than what the uh, Mi Mix 2 was. So the Mi Mix 2 had very different scores uh, on every run for upload and download. Upload being very, very low in comparison to the Mi Mix, uh, the Essential phone, which was actually a lot more consistent uh, throughout the test. So there was uh, very high upload scores of 85, 83, 79 Mbps, whereas the uh, Xiaomi Mi Mix uh, was at 24, 20, 42 Mbps on uploads. Same Wi-Fi, test done on the same Wi-Fi, connected to the same server. So it doesn't make sense to me why there's such a big gap, but there is. So when it comes down to performance, I always tell you guys the same thing, uh, and that is benchmarks don't matter. Benchmarks are just a good way of gauging where things stand, but real world usage is never ever really defined by you know benchmarking or by uh, specifications because you it's just not the way it works anymore. So when it comes down to it, I personally feel like uh, both the phones perform well. The Mi Mix 2 does a good job of keeping a ton of apps open and ready to go, but it's not as smooth as the Essential phone. I think that having no skin on the device really helps the processor kick things into motion a lot quicker. Uh, things just open a little bit faster and uh, I feel like this general smoothness on this is a little bit better. But I can't deny the fact that this has a better RAM and it has done better in the Geekbench and Antutu benchmark. So the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 will take this round and it wins on basis of the specifications and the hardware.
at the first two photos, we can see that the Mi Mix 2 does a much better job of keeping the colors uh, a little bit less washed out. The central phone does look washed out, not to mention that the background uh, is a lot more blurry and way more noisy than it is on the Mix 2. So I think this photo, the Mix 2 takes. This photo is a lot more uh, equally matched. Both of the phones do a decent job of keeping both focus, color, and exposure uh, just right. The exposure could be a little bit better in the background near the top right on both photos, but uh, at this point, I think both are equal. This photo is a mixed bag here, and uh, the thing is, while the Mi Mix 2 does a good job of keeping colors more real to life and darker, the Essential Phone did a good job of keeping more detail in the photo, especially if you look at that lighter colored wood uh, near the middle of the, of the photos. So I think this one uh, has to go to the Mi Mix 2, but the Essential Phone does really well as well. Here's a photo taken uh, into direct sunlight basically to uh, test out the exposure and the way the cameras handle very bright lights. Both of them did a decent job. Uh, they don't uh, underexpose uh, too much, but they do get a little bit dark. Uh, there is a lot of lost detail here and there. Uh, so this one is a tie as well. Look at the front camera photos of both of these phones. Uh, they look fairly equivalent to each other. The central phone does keep a little bit more detail on my forehead. Uh, the Mix 2 does like uh, smooth things over, especially when you look at the background, you can see that there's a lot of detail lost. Uh, but the essential phone does have this weird ratio of the photo, but uh, I think this one goes to the essential phone. Looking at these photos, uh, this photo is a little bit difficult for me to take. I had to keep, uh, you know, trying to get focus on both of the phones. And the essential phone was a lot easier, but the Mix 2 just wouldn't get the focus right. So if you can uh, see, the focus isn't on the flowers, it's more towards the leaves, whereas the essential phone keeps the focus towards the leaves and not on the, I'm sorry, it keeps the focus towards the flowers and not the leaves. So I think this one goes to the essential phone. Now both of these photos are very equally matched. Uh, they do a very good job keeping everything uh, uh, nice and focused. And the bokeh effect in the background does really look natural. Um, the one, uh, the essential phone doesn't do as good of a job with the colors again. It, it seems very light and washed out. Mix 2 does a good job, so I think that the Mix 2 takes this round. Uh, and another outdoor shot with not the best lighting. It was uh, fairly shady in the area I took the photo, so uh, the phones did struggle a little bit, but the uh, both the phones have their ups and downs. So the Mix 2 overexposed slightly, but it did capture more detail. The central phone uh, got the exposure just right, but the details are missing. But overall, the central phone has the more pleasing photo, so the central phone takes this round. Moving in into an indoor shot. Now, both of the photos look pretty good. They don't look that bad at all. You can't really, it's not that bad. But the thing is, the central phone has a lot more noise, but it is brighter. The Mix 2, it keeps things a little bit darker, but the details and the noise is just... Uh, a big difference from the essential phone. So I think that personally the Mix 2 looks a lot more pleasing to the eye. So that one takes the round. And here's a photo from the Mi Mix 2. Now, uh, I did not edit this in any way. The flash wasn't on. I didn't do anything. This is the way the photo came out. And you can just see the brightness is turned up all the way to 11. They just, the, f the camera went crazy in post, I think. And uh, while the essential phone isn't anything great, at least it's not as crazy overexposed and noisy as the Mi Mix 2. So this one goes to the essential phone. So the final photo is a indoor uh, front camera test and both the phones are equally horrible. They just, uh, indoor front facing shots in low light are not the best for these phones. It's incredibly noisy on both phones, but the essential tries to keep things a little bit more brighter, especially near the ceiling. You can see the big difference between the Mix 2 and the essential phone. And, uh, no, I wouldn't take either of these photos, but since I do have to choose one, I think that the essential phone, just because it's brighter, is the better photo of the two. All right, guys, so this is the front camera test of the essential phone on the left and the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 on the right. Uh, the essential phone is actually on 4K, whereas the uh, Xiaomi is limited to 1080p, so that's a pretty good bump there. Uh, and the quality so looks a lot better on the uh, Xiaomi, I'm sorry, the essential right off the bat, but Again, I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think about it. All right, guys, so here we start off with the rear camera test of the Essential Phone on the left and the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 on the right. Both are recording in full 4K, 30 FPS. Uh, let me know what you guys think. The Xiaomi off the bat to me looks like it's a little bit lighter. Uh, and let me know what the audio is turning out to be either. I haven't really heard the audio on the Xiaomi 
from uh, video, so I'm not sure what it's going to turn out like. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, so this is the rear camera test of the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 on the right and the uh, Essential Phone on the left here. So let me know what you guys think about them. What's the noise looking like? And both are on 4K, just so you guys know. They are both on 4K 30 FPS. All right, guys, so here is the front camera test of the uh, Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 on the right and the Essential Phone on the left. So the Essential Phone is recording in 4K uh, and the Mi Mix 2 is on 1080p. So let me know what you guys think. Is it really, uh, what's the noise and brightness looking like? Can you actually even see any details around here? Uh, and on my face. So let me know down in the comments below. So that concludes all the tests and the results are so much more closer than I ever thought they would be. The, these two phones are actually so good. Now, uh, let's start off and summarize everything. So the first round, the physical aspects, I told you guys that uh, I think that the Essential just inches out the Mi Mix 2 here, but both are very good phones. So one point for the Essential there. Moving on the software aspect. Now I told you guys that I hated the Mi Mix 2's uh, UI. The Mi UI skin that it's, that's on it is just pathetic. It's horrible, too much bloatware, everything is complicated and nothing is, you know, it's not as easy as it could be. The stock Android experience here just takes the cake for sure any day. So that's two points for the Essential phone. Now, moving on, looking at hardware and specifications. Now, this is where the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2's fate starts to turn because the Mi Mix 2 has very similar specs to the Essential phone, but it does have a better uh, six gigs of RAM, not to mention that the single camera it does have has a lot more uh, capabilities than the two cameras on this phone. So the camera of the uh, Essential phone does let it down. And not to mention on most benchmarks, the uh, Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 did a little bit better, but still, you know, it's not too big of a gap, but there can only be one winner. So this round goes to the Mi Mix 2. So that brings up to two points for the Essential, one for the Mi Mix 2. And moving on into the speaker test. So the speakers of both of these phones are actually just single firing bottom facing speakers. So that's never the best equation, but uh, the essential phone is slightly louder. So it, it's just a little bit louder and uh, the quality is very similar on both of them, but just a little bit louder. So if I were forced to listen to music on one of these, it would probably be the essential phone. So now that's starting to, now that the uh, Essential has already taken three rounds, I mean, it's already won, but uh, moving into the camera. Now this is where everything goes very wrong for the Essential phone because the camera on this phone is just not up to the mark. The Mix 2 actually gets some really good results, not only on the rear, but the front camera sometimes as well. Why I say sometimes? Because it's not easy. The cameras aren't set up to be, you know, amazing photos every time. You need to work it properly. You need to have the right conditions as well. And overall, when I looked at the photos, you know, there was a lot of back and forth, but generally the colors, the uh, vibrance, everything on the Mix 2 was just a lot more pleasing to the eyes than it was on the Essential phone. So if I was to take one of these two phones only for the camera, I'd probably end up taking the Mix 2. So that's one for the Mix 2. So the final tally here is three for the Essential phone, two for the Mix 2. And that actually does, uh, you know, it, they're so close. I, I'm telling you guys that if there's ever a, a tie, is between these two phones because they're so premiumly built. They have a very similar price point. They perform so much, uh, they perform very equally to each other in every step. You know, it's just that one tiny gap here or there with both of these phones. So it just comes down to the fact that, you know, uh, the Essential beats it out this time. So that wraps up the budget flagship comparison. So let me know what you guys think about these two phones down in the comments below. Uh, and which one of these would you pick if it was your money on the line? Let me know down in the comments below. Be sure to follow me on social media. I have all the links down in the description below. I'm very active on Instagram and Twitter, so definitely follow me over there. And if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe to the channel for more content on the Mix 2 and the Essential phone. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.